Our board book collection can be found by the stairs in a wooden cart and a purple cart. Our board books have a large letter at the top indicating the way it's been labeled. We also put stickers on the spine showing if it's Spanish, ABCs, or accounting book. These books are great for babies up until the age of four. They're known for having thick cardboard-like pages for durability. Our phonics collection is in a wooden cart next to the board books and the DVD collections. Phonetic books are used to help children begin to read. On the top shelf are hard case phonics, and on the bottom are box sets, bag sets, and learn to read box sets that have more in-depth activities for your child when they're reading. Our phonics are labeled as JRDR with the corresponding F and P levels. All labels are either on the side or the front of the cases. Our picture books are in a long, short bookcase when you walk into the room. New books are displayed on the top of the case and the red ladybug found in the center of the room. Picture books have illustrations and are usually best read to a child. On one side are authors A to K and the other L to Z. On the end by the elevator are the kindergarten books with their topic on the top of the spine and the author label at the bottom. These books are only allowed to be taken out for 14 days. Our character books are found by the elevator in an ABC's bookshelf. Every cubby is labeled showing how it's been shelved. New books are in one cubby and even displayed on the very top. Character books are like picture books but they are thinner and smaller. As you can see our cubbies are labeled from A to B and C to D. Larger series like Disney or Dora have their own cubbies labeled as such. Here you can see I'm pulling a Batman book that is found under the A to B cubby. Here I'm showing you what the character books look like inside. Again, compared to picture books, they are smaller and they are thinner. Our Easy Readers are the first bookcase when you walk in from the stairs. Easy Readers are for children who have begun to read independently. On the first shelf, you'll see the new books. Like picture books, they contain characters and a plot that are much more simple. These books are labeled as JRDR on the bottom sticker. At the top sticker are their FMP levels that are given to them by their school. Our series collection are in four aisles by the fiction wall and DVD collection. Fiction books that are in a series such as Harry Potter or Amelia Bedelia are found in the series section. At the very beginning by A are the new books. Our bottom label is labeled by series, not the author. At the top of the spine are the FMP levels. All series are longer chapter books that usually begin at level M as they contain more in-depth plot, characters, problems, and settings. On the ends of each aisle, there are new books also displayed. If you look, there are three spinning shelves for Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, and Rainbow Magic Fairies that are found against the regular fiction wall. Our regular fiction books are located by the computers and go along the wall and end underneath the large window. New books are found at the beginning of the regular fiction. All fiction books are considered standalones and have a leveled sticker at the very top of the spine. On the bottom are the genre stickers and the labels underneath the author's last name. Our graphic novel section is found between the easy readers and the series. Graphic novels are books made up of comic content. Our new graphics are found at the beginning of the collection and all have a graphic sticker. None are FMP leveled and are labeled by the author's last name. If they are in a series, it will be listed under the series name, such as Big Nate. If you're looking for the Pokemon books, they're on a turned shelf near the nonfiction wall. Our nonfiction collection starts right under the large window and follows along the wall to the elevator. Our nonfiction collection is labeled using the Dewey Decimal System. None of our nonfiction books are FMP leveled. Our new books are on the shelves on the right hand side when you immediately walk in from the stairs. If you're having trouble locating a nonfiction book, please feel free to come to the children's desk and we can help you locate it. Our parenting section is found when you just walk in from the stairs. They will have a blue parenting sticker and can be labeled as either E or a nonfiction number. Also considered under parenting will be the park books. Our series nonfiction section is found by the beginning of the fiction series and the DVDs. These are books such as Gibbons or Bullfrogs that we try to keep together. It will have a series sticker and a label containing a number and the series name it's known under. Our biographies are located by the DVDs and the fiction books. The labels will also be under who the biography will be on. On the side, there is also a display of biographies as well. Biographies will have a 100 plus page sticker on the side, indicating whether they have more than 100 pages. 
New biographies can be found by the new fiction right when you walk in from the stairs. Our who was, where is, and what is section is right by the biography section. They're each on their own turn shelf. On top of each column, letters are there to help you find where your book is. There are also F&P levels on most of the books. Our magazines are on the ends of the series aisles. All magazines are organized by the title. The month and the year will be labeled on the front. Our workbooks are located across from the picture books near the elevator. We have workbooks for all grades and subjects. To tell if it's a workbook, there's a sticker above the label. As a reminder, workbooks are not allowed to be written in. Our media section contains audiobooks, CDs, and DVDs, all located near the biographies and computers. Our audiobooks are in black cases and labeled by the author's last name. CDs are to the right and have a letter on top of the spine. The letter and the front of the CD will help identify the name. On the blue bug are an assortment of CDs on display. For our new DVDs, they are located on the shelf when you just walk in from the stairs. DVDs are right after the CDs and continue on to the next bookcase. They're in alphabetical order and have the first letter of the title on top of the spine. As a note, children's DVD letter label is green compared to the adults, which is white. We also added Wonder Books to our collection. Wonder Books are books that have audios inside of them. They give you two options, a read-along option and a learning mode option. Welcome to the Young Adults Tour section. Our YA fiction spans four bookcases as shown. The beginning of the alphabet starts on the left, which is where the new fiction books are located. We display new YA books also on the ends of each bookcase. If you need recommendations, there are papers below the displays. Each fiction book has a YA sticker, then its label. Labels are organized by author's last name. Above the YA sticker is the book genre. Our manga section is across from the new fiction and follows along the wall. They have either a teal manga sticker or a red graphic novel sticker. They are organized by the series name. Our indie graphics are after the fiction books. New indie is put at the very beginning. These are organized by the author's last name. Indie graphics will either have the red or purple sticker. Some of our graphics will also be labeled as the series, such as Scott Pilgrim. We also have an indie nonfiction section. First will be displayed the new, and then follows the regular. We also have sections for Dark Horse, Marvel, and DC books. All are labeled by the series. These are located at the very end of the bookcases. We split the three for easier findings. Any new will be at the beginning of each section. Our audiobooks and playaways are located right before the new fiction. Playaways are in the orange cases and audios are in the black. They are organized by the author's last name. Our nonfiction section is on the left side of the fiction books, right before the manga section begins. Nonfiction is organized using the Dewey Decimal System, followed by the author's last name. Biography is right next to the nonfiction and is organized by who the book is written about. Any new books will be at the beginning of each section. Video games are near the elevator and magazine room. We have a wide assortment of games for each console. They are all color-coded for their specific console and have the letter of the title at the top of the spine. 
All video games have a 14 day limit on them. We also have video game guides which are right below the games. The ones with the red stickers are for tabletop role playing games like Dungeons and Dragons. The orange ones are for the regular video games. If you ever need help or have any questions, feel free to come to the children's desk and we're happy to help. Also, if you would like to check out our website, please go to nutleypubliclibrary.org and you can click on our Youth Services or Teen Services site and you can find out more information too.